Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. Believe it or not, I am a bit of an introvert. This means I really don't enjoy small talk with strangers or large crowds, being out somewhere and seeing an acquaintance from high school who I haven't seen in years or talked to in years, and I just want to hide. These things just kind of make me want to stay home and binge the Umbrella Academy. And if I had a range of sweets to make me ill, I could just stay home all day binging Netflix series and not have to have an excuse as to why I'm flaking out on my responsibilities and plans and things. So today, let's make the Skiving Snack Box. If you do like my videos, give it a thumbs up down below, share, comment, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All of these things really do help the channel. And check out the description box below for a list of supplies you're going to need, as well as links to the free downloadable templates, and let's get started. First, you're going to want to print the templates, and these are printed on regular white paper, so you'll print the full PDF of the box and then the drawers. They ha it has a, its own separate file. And then another one are the label stickers. And the labels are printed on sticker paper. All right, so I've separated all the squares into its own pile here. And I'm just going to set the other ones that aren't squares aside. These are like, you see, rectangles, and it's not just one square in the middle of the page. So these are the ones that you want. And then we're going to take some paper clamps and clamp them together. And this is to hold the pages together so that they don't slip around while we're trying to cut them out because we're going to cut all of these squares all at the same time. So you're going to use a ruler and exacto knife to do this. So you'll have all of them clamped together, uh, line the ruler up with where we want our cut to be, and just go ahead and cut. And we're probably going to have to go over this a few times to make sure it cuts through all of these pieces of paper. We want to cut through every single sheet. And now I'm going to take the clamp and place it here to hold these together as I continue cutting. And now we should have um, all the different squares cut out. Now as for these other ones, um, you can stack up, there are a few that are the same. So these with the long rectangles, the orange and the green, uh, an orange and a blue one like this, so you can go ahead and stack these together to cut at the same time. And then you should have one that has two of these rectangles on each one, an orange and a blue. So we can stack those up. And now we can go ahead and cut them out all at the same time. So we'll start with just the two rectangles and cut these out and then we can cut these out together, and then finally these out together. Once you have all those cut out, you should have some uh, green pieces, some blue pieces, and some orange pieces. Now we can set everything that we just cut out aside, including all of these squares and everything. This is going to be used to basically skin the box to make it look like the one from the movie. And while we have our ruler and exacto knife out and everything, let's go ahead and cut out these stickers. And so the stickers should look like this. Now let's get into the part that I don't really like doing. Um, I don't like cutting cardboard because it just gets to my hand after cutting so much, but we don't have a whole lot to cut, so that's good. First measurement we're going to make is seven and a half inches. So right here we'll make a mark, and then we're going to go to the other side and measure down seven and a half inches again. There we go. Now I can draw a line all the way down. So I know that this is seven and a half inches across right here. So then I need to measure seven and a half inches down this way as well. So there's seven and a half inches here, and then seven and a half inches here. And now I can just draw a line right there. And there we have our first uh, square. This is what we want to cut out right here, this area. And we will need eight of these squares this size, seven and a half by seven and a half inches. And you'll probably have to go over it two or three times just to make sure it goes all the way through the cardboard. The cool thing is, once you have one of these squares, 
you can use it as a template so you don't have to measure it every single time. You can just trace this with your pen and then cut this next one out pretty easily. Okay, so now I have my uh, squares cut out and we want to get six of these squares and we're gonna make a cross shape. And I'm using book binding tape. I suggest using this. You can use whatever kind of tape you want. You could even use duct tape, but duct tape's not gonna look very good. And this book binding tape is nice and uh, kind of like feels like cloth. Um, so it's just gonna turn out a, a little bit nicer. So we'll start by taping these two together. And you want a piece of tape that is long enough um, to go under and over to tape this together. You can just kind of lay it out across and as long as it's as wide or maybe a little bit wider than two squares, you're gonna have enough tape. You might be asking, why did I decide to do it this way and tape it together? You're gonna have a hard time finding a piece of cardboard that is long enough to make this cross out of. Plus, it'll make the edges that are supposed to fold, it'll make them fold easier. Um, and it's just gonna look better this way, trust me. So there we go, now we can fold this part up like this, and then we can fold this part down like that. And now you should have this part which you can fold. Now you're gonna do the same thing right here on this other edge so that you'll have three across. And there we go, now we have these two flaps that will fold up. Now we need to tape another square right here at the top of the middle square. Now this one's going to be a little bit more tricky because you have these two uh, flaps on here already. So again, we're just going to take the first uh, piece of cardboard, stick it over about halfway onto the tape here, and then we have this piece which we are going to stick right there. But don't put these two top uh, flaps down yet onto the tape. So now what we wanna do is take your scissors and just make a cut so that you can fold this over like that and then this piece can fold down onto this piece of uh, the cardboard right there. On this side what you wanna do is make a cut right here just halfway up the tape right here so that you can kind of pull it around like this. And now I can glue, or I'm sorry, now I can tape across the top here. And then you're gonna to wanna to do a similar thing right here, make a cut. Now I can flip this over, pull the tape around where I made my cut so it should allow you to, yeah, just tape that onto it. So I hope that I explained that well enough. Um, but yeah, now you should have these two flaps and one right here at the top. Now we're gonna put another one of these right here in the same exact way that we just did. Now you should have what looks like a plus or an X. Now there's just one last thing to do for this part of the box and that is we're going to tape one more flap on any of these uh, pieces on the outside. Okay, so now we should have a cross shape and you should be able to fold it all up into a box. So you'll go to this part that has all the pieces connected to it, the center piece, and then these three shorter, uh, shorter sides should fold up and then this longer one is going to fold up and over that should make a full box just like this and you should be able to open that box up. Decide which side you want to be the outside of the box and now you're going to take the orange pieces of paper with the Weasley symbol on them and you are going to glue one onto each side, each one of these squares on the outside of your box. First of all, we'll take this long piece of the cross right here in the center and we are going to glue uh, one of the orange W squares right on top like this. You want the W facing this direction, as I'm showing you here, so that uh, when you have the box closed, it's right side up. If you accidentally glue it like this, the W is gonna be upside down when the box is closed. So basically, all of the Ws are going to be facing this direction, even the ones out here on the uh, arms of the cross 
are going to be facing this direction. The only ones that are going to be flipped are the very top part of the cross and the very bottom part of the cross. I hope that all makes sense, so let's go ahead and glue these on. And for this, I'm just gonna use a glue stick because it's fast, easy, dries quickly. If you're going to use a uh, liquid glue though, like Mod Podge or something like that, you would, you're definitely gonna wanna print these templates out on cardstock, otherwise you're gonna have uh, the paper wrinkling because of the wetness of the glue. Now, once we have all of these orange W squares glued onto our uh, cross shape right now, we need to glue some colors on the inside as well. And this is a specific thing that we want to do, so I'm going to show you uh, what colors go where right now. So, this is the very bottom of the cross. So right now, we're looking at the very center of the cross, and then the short part of the cross is right here. So. The center of the cross here is green. So I'm going to write green so that I don't forget. Um, the piece of the cross on this side here is going to be green as well. The piece on this side, so the short arm of the cross on this side, this is going to be blue. The short top of the cross, the head of the cross, is going to be orange. Now the bottom part of the cross, or the, the, uh, the foot of the cross, the top part of the foot right here is going to be blue. And then the very bottom part of the cross right here is going to be green. So as long as you write all those colors down, you should have no problem uh, putting the right color where it goes. Oh, and also I almost forgot, the one at the bottom, the, the very foot of the cross right here that is green, you want that one to be this piece, which says the skiving snack box on it. So basically what that does is when this opens up, you will see this. So now once you have all of the colors glued in on the inside of the box, it should look like this. So here's the very head of the cross, here's the center of the cross, and then the uh, bottom or foot of the cross is here and you have the skiving snack box one at the very bottom. So if we fold this up into the box shape, it would look like this. And then it can also open up. And then, yeah, the top and sides open up as well. Now, go ahead and get out all of the uh, extra pieces of paper that you have cut out. We will be using these to make the drawers. You will need a piece of cardboard which is cut the seven by seven, the same size as all the other ones, but then you're also going to need to cut out four more pieces of cardboard which are for each one of these. So we will measure this and make a line all the way down. And now I'll do the same thing going this direction. And I'll just make my line. So this is the size of the that we want for the longer, shorter pieces, which are going to be the sides of the drawer. But we will need to make about maybe an inch of uh, extra on the side because we need to glue this on to make a, a box. So we'll make a line down like this. Now, actually, I almost forgot. You also need a little bit of extra on the sides here and here as well. So we are going to need to go ahead and make a few marks here. There we go. So actually this is what we want. Um, I'm gonna ignore this line. Um, what I want are these two edges because they're gonna fold in and glue. And then this bottom part is gonna glue and that's going to make our um, our drawer at uh, sides. And I'll just keep measuring this out. I need four of them for the first and second drawers. So this is the shape I'm going for. So basically these are gonna fold in like this, and this bottom one here is going to fold up like this. And that is going to create the uh, walls of my drawer right here. And actually only two of them need these edge pieces. The other two will go without them. 
All right, so you will have two on the edges of your drawer like this um, with the two outer flaps, and then you will have two that go on the top and bottom that don't have those outer flaps. And actually, now that I'm kind of putting this together and seeing it, you will need to cut an inch in here and cut a square out from this bottom flap so that they don't overlap like this. So this is what you should be left with, with that piece. And this is so that this can sort of fit in there uh, just like that. Now let's go ahead and put together the larger drawer. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna use a hot glue gun for this. All right, and next we should be able to take the other two pieces that we made and glue them in right here. So now what we wanna do is these two little flaps, we will put glue on either side, fold them up, and then this part will glue onto it just like that and that will create a drawer when you do it on both sides. And there we go, we have our little drawer, and now we just need to skin the inside of it. So we're gonna do this one orange. Uh, you could do the green one first if you want, it really doesn't matter. But um, the square that we cut out might be slightly too large for this, since uh, you've put some edges on it which take up a tiny bit of space. So just go ahead and put it in first and kind of try and flatten it out. You may need to sort of fold on the inside right here, so how this is kind of folded in and also touching the edge right here. So you may need to do that to get it to fit. But yeah, it should fit in there pretty well. Once you have a good idea of how that's gonna fit in there, we're just gonna use a glue stick again. And there we go, as you can see, I just kind of did the edge because the center is kind of a little bit more shallow than the edges, so I did just the edges. I'm just gonna glue the edges and not worry about the center. And there we go, we should have the uh, orange interior glued on here. Okay, and next we'll take the uh, orange rectangle pieces and we're gonna glue them in just like this. So now I've completed the two larger drawers. We have the orange and the green here. And so the next thing I need to do is make the two smaller drawers. And those are gonna be made the exact same way as I made these, only they're half the size in width. Basically because this one was uh, seven by seven, the, this next one is going to be seven by three and a half. So you should end up with uh, two smaller parts for the drawers, for the smaller drawers. Uh, one blue, one orange. And now it is time <laughs> to put this all together. So what we're gonna do here is glue uh, this large orange interior box right to the top so that this part can close up on it like that. So next we're going to make sure that everything fits. So I'm gonna take the two smaller boxes and place them right here, and the very bottom box and place it right here just to make sure that everything fits in there, and it does, it's the right height. Um, it might be a little bit wide, but I think we can make it work. If it just doesn't fit at all for you, you might have to make some modifications, maybe trim some of the cardboard at the top so that these are the right uh, height for everything to fit in here. So right here on the blue part, which is the side of the box that closes, we're going to take the smaller orange box and we are going to glue it right there. And make sure that when you do this, this can close up and be uh, pretty snug right here. So I might actually just place it where it needs to be and then close this in on it so I know exactly that it's in the right spot. Now if we flip this around 
and take a look at the green side, we're gonna do the same thing over here, only with the blue, like the smaller blue box. This time I'm gonna close this side up and then put this box where it would be, uh, where it would fit if the box is actually closed up completely. And then I will bring this side in and glue it down just like that so that I know where it needs to be in order for the box to close. I just realized that I put the orange one in the wrong spot. The top box should actually be the green one, so the bottom box should be the orange one. Um, I'm going to fix this right now. All right, so now I've done it properly. Uh, the green box is at the top, the large orange box is at the bottom. We have orange and blue on this side, and then we have uh, blue and green on this side. So that is how it should be, and these should fold in. This should close up, and then the top should come down. This is a bit of a tight fit. It's, it's pretty snug in there. So uh, in hindsight, if I were to do this again, which I will, I'll make my, myself one as well, I would probably make the interior boxes here just a little bit smaller, like maybe a quarter inch all the way around. Um, width, height, everything, just a, a quarter inch smaller everywhere. That way things, it, it's gonna fit and close up a little bit easier. This works, but you know, there's always room for improvement. So as for the stickers, here's how, how it's gonna, how you're gonna do this. The smaller blue drawer and the, with the green on the back, that's the fever fudge. So you're gonna put this sticker right here. Um, the other side, which is right here, and this is the orange and blue side. This is the nosebleed nougat, so you're gonna place this nosebleed nougat sticker right here. The very bottom orange drawer is going to be the fainting fancies. And then of course the very top is the puking pastels. However, this one actually is going to go right here above the, the drawer instead of on the side here. And there's just one last thing that we need to do before we're completely finished. This will require a hole punch. And we're going to put one hole punch right here on the top and another hole punch right there. And then we're going to put a string through here to close the box up. I'm gonna use this orange shoelace because it was left over from when I made this uh, self-writing quills display. But I think the one in the actual movie was like a red or maybe a darker orange. I'm not exactly sure. It definitely wasn't this bright, but you know, it works and it looks very uh, Weasley-ish. So here we go. We've got it tied into a bow here. If we undo this, it'll come open. Um, this is how it should look. Like I said, I think I would make the interior boxes a bit smaller because this thing is pretty, uh, <laughs> it, it just wants to come open. Um, yeah, I'm not quite happy with that aspect of it, but everything else, I think it looks good. Definitely uh, looks better open than it does closed. And you know, you would think if somebody had this, they'd want it open anyways, just to have it on display. I really hope you liked this DIY. It was really fun to put together. Um, if you want a chance at winning the Skyping snack box that I made in this video today, there's a giveaway link in the description box below to the monthly giveaway. Down there, you're also gonna find other giveaways, including my 45K giveaway, which is for a Gilderoy Lockhart pop figure framed photograph and Gilderoy Lockhart's Defense Against the Dark Arts quiz. I also have a 50K giveaway going on down there and that is for a Muggle Magic Mystery Box which is going to come with just some random Harry Potter items that I've put together from uh, boxes that I've opened, subscription boxes and stuff. But I'm also going to include two projects by me that I have not released on my channel and I won't release or even hint at what they are until after the box is won and received. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.